obviously it's not surprising that I come from the sort of Brexiteer no-go zone of Hackney, um, where everyone voted Remain, everyone reads The Guardian, and without any irony at all, everyone will proudly tell you they worked in the creative industries. <laughs> everyone has beards and uh, little hipsters. Everyone has sort of beards and, and, and tattoos, um, which they call getting work done. <laughs> Which is ironic, given that's not something they really have a concept of. <laughs> yeah, you can't really say to a hipster, you're a hipster. They get incredibly offended. I said to my friend the other day, you're, you're a bit of a hipster. And he just got apoplectic. He was red in the face. He was very, not, not fucking hipster, man. And I said, calm down. Get down off the unicycle, Oscar. <laughs> you're gonna hurt yourself. <laughs> and that is, I guess, the defining characteristic of a hipster is they'll never admit that they are a hipster which is also coincidentally the defining characteristic of a dickhead. <laughs> How many dickheads do you know that will openly describe themselves as dickheads? Just for the record, I'm not a hipster. <laughs> or a dickhead, though I did find myself in Peckham recently at a warehouse rave. Um, <laughs> it's completely unrelated. Uh, it was a huge three-story affair and, uh, you know, the loud music and everyone was kind of off their face and this sort of posh hipster guy walks up to this kind of road man with his hood down in the corner and says, Hey, blood, blood, um, have you got any, uh, he's kind of gurning that, going, have you got any, um, have you got any idea who the freeholder of this place might be? So, <laughs> I think it'll make a fantastic conversion. <laughs> <laughs>